Nawaf is the CEO of Wiz Consultancy, who provide company registration and formation services and help investors and entrepreneurs to start their business in Bahrain. And he's on the line with us here just now. How are you today? Hey, Toby. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm brilliant, thank you. So what does your company, Wiz Consultancy, WLL, actually do? So our company has three business lines. Uh, the first business business line is corporate services. So we open companies, uh, uh, we open international companies for our clients, uh, and we manage them. Uh, so the company is usually with a uh, limited liability and located mm-hmm. in Bahrain. They can serve uh, GCC countries, Saudi, Qatar, uh, Dubai, uh, Abu Dhabi, and they can serve internationally. So we yeah. help them to to set up the companies uh, remotely. They don't have to be here. We can do that. Uh, this is the first business line. The second business line is cybersecurity services. Uh, we provide uh, GRC services, governance, risk compliance, risk assessment. Uh, and the third service is, is a training. Uh, we have um, uh, t- top-notch uh, partners in cybersecurity and we provide trainings in uh, mm-hmm. uh, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, and Dubai. Wow. So what's the benefit of setting up a company or or yeah, in Bahrain. So the benefit that it's uh, it's actually we we give you cost effective. It's uh, cheaper than anywhere uh, any place in the world, and the mm. company uh, it's actually located and you have an office. So when we set up uh, your company, we set up an office for you. We have a bank account for you, and we have investment uh, residence in Bahrain. That mm. means you can come here and we, you have a uh, residence ID and you can mo- uh, move within GC- GCC. You can go to Saudi, Dubai, and Qatar mm. and you can do business with them. So a lot of international companies, they want to penetrate the market in uh, Saudi Arabia, Dubai, Qatar. And when we set up a company in Bahrain, they can deal with, uh, with uh, these companies. Yeah. Is it quite popular for business to operate in that part of the world? Because Dubai and Qatar are quite big business places, aren't they? Yeah, and Bahrain is actually one of the biggest country uh, yeah. in uh, in GCC. There are seven countries in GCC. They are uh, they have a new union, and it's Bahrain is big uh, as Dubai, but it's yeah. uh, the country is not known. Uh, of, and I have no idea, to be honest, why. It's, <laughs> it's a very beautiful country, and yeah. um, there's a lot of potential here. The, the huge demand, is, especially with the vision, mm-hmm. with the vision of uh, Bahrain, vision of Saudi Arabia. You, you, you maybe you heard about the country, the new, the new city, Neom, and mm-hmm. all this region. So there's a huge market demand here in, uh, in the region, and Bahrain can provide you with the. Uh, the most uh, uh, suitable and convenient uh, service for international companies. Yeah. So why do you think it is that people forget about Bahrain? Because as you say, it's a great place to do business and it's it's not like people haven't heard of it, I don't think. People certainly have, but maybe it's not the first choice when they think of going somewhere to set up a business. Uh, to be honest, Bahrain, um, uh, when, we, when we compare it to Dubai, Dubai is a city, Bahrain yeah. is a country. And yeah. uh, the, the demography is actually smaller than uh, United Emirates. So mm. uh, here, uh, uh, Bahrain, they already have a lot of people come here, they know about it and they do the business. They don't need to do a lot of marketing, not like Dubai. Dubai, the, yeah. this is their the main business and they, do, they are really good in marketing. So that's what we lack in Bahrain and we, that's what we're trying to enhance. So yeah. your channel. <laughs> yeah. And how easy is it for a company to set themselves up in Bahrain? It's actually very easy depending on the business. For yeah. example, if you want to open a consultancy or a, a digital marketing, that's straightforward. You can have the company uh, with us and in four, four weeks you have a full company, bank account, investment mm. ID, all that. Uh, if you have, if you want to like do like cryptocurrency uh, company or uh, some uh, like uh, very specialized, that depends on the scenario, and we have to sit with you uh, with our team, and we discuss it with you. But it's very straightforward and very easy. It's very convenient. Yeah, and do you hope that the more people that set up a company through you, uh, and even not through you, but just in Bahrain generally, will help raise Bahrain's profile? 
we as a company, we have vision that we want to contribute to Bahrain uh, vision and GCC vision. And mm. part of that, we want to enrich uh, the, the, the businesses in Bahrain. So that's what yeah. we're trying to do. We want to have more partners. We want to set their companies. We want to manage their companies. I want to be partners with them. We want to yeah. try to, to, to even uh, do marketing for them. We want to we wanna make this con- the contents of GCC better and better. That's our vision. Yeah. And as you say, there's a lack of knowledge or awareness about Bahrain. Does that create a risk in setting up a business somewhere that people maybe aren't as confident about as other countries? Or is it actually quite a very safe place to set up? It's just that people don't know about uh, it. Actually, like Bahrain is very safe and will well mm. known to be safe country. If you yeah. say, like when we when tell people we are an open country uh, company for you in Bahrain, they search online, they will find there's a lot of things to do in Bahrain. This is, it's the safest uh, country within the GCC. A lot mm. of expats actually come here in Bahrain, even if they are doing business in Dubai. They, yeah. they, they actually... Uh, uh, bring their families in Bahrain because it's mm. the most convenient. You see a lot of families here, a lot of international, a lot of international schools in uh, Bahrain. So that's the most convenient. Uh, again, people in search about Bahrain, they feel this is the place. And that's why I think that's part of it that w- we in Bahrain, we don't promote it that much because it promotes itself. Yeah. <laughs> and you also have cyber security services. What is it about your cybersecurity services that I guess makes them unique? Uh, yeah, so cybersecurity services, uh, it's part of uh, contributing to the vision. We we yeah. are try- we are trying to contribute to the uh, to, to the market and we're trying to uh, penetrate the most uh, attractive uh, sector and we know that in um, in the region there's a lot there, there we don't see a lot of cybersecurity companies mm. and we see a huge demand in cybersecurity and we said since we uh we have expert expertise in uh, setting up companies and managing them and we have expertise in cybersecurity we can do both of them so in cybersecurity uh, our uh, the main uh, uh uh, specialty is in uh, governance, compliance, strategy, and we have mm. a team that they have more than uh, 12 years experience in this field, and wow. they can, uh, they actually work in many international companies, over uh, in US, UK, and uh, in Saudi Arabia and Bahrain. So our mm. team is very strong in that area, and we thought like, why we don't contribute to this business, you know? Yeah. Uh, and we we do the management for that, and we can help them in terms of technical as well. Yeah. And cybersecurity is quite a hot topic these days, isn't it? Do you think it's more important than ever for companies to have a secure cyber presence? Of course, cybersecurity is very important now. And it's you can, you can see all the countries in the world, they, 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 put a lot, they allocate a lot of uh, budget just for cybersecurity. And uh, yeah. because... Everyone want to be. Everyone, everyone want to have a digital transformation. Everyone want to automate their systems and operation. Uh, they want to uh, ex, ex, uh, expand. Uh, like they want to make the process quickly, and they want to bog- progress faster. Yeah. And in order to do that in safe uh, manner, you have to have uh, a break. Uh, so I call cybersecurity is a break in the cup. Right? Mm. It's the brakes that st- it's actually it doesn't stop you. It's actually move you forward. So this is our yeah. vision with when we talk about cybersecurity. You want to move forward. You have you should have cybersecurity services. So mm. part of one of our most important services is risk assessment. So we conduct yeah. risk assessment and co- risk management. That for, that help decision makers to uh, see their their opportunities and risk and make the right decision with high confidence. So yeah. that's the bottom of cybersecurity, and we think we want to we want to emphasize on this, and we want to contribute to this. Are there some types of companies that are more at risk of a cyber attack than others? Um, of course, like large companies and companies that are in the fintech, for example, banking. Mm. Uh, so uh, if every sector they have uh, their own risks and their yeah. own opportunities. Uh, we cannot say that uh, some industry have more risk than the other. Well, all yeah. all industries have their own risk, and uh, when we talk about risk, we have sever- severity, high uh, risk, sever- uh, severe risk, medium risk, low risk, and all of them they have severe risk. 
But yeah. we in with consultancy, we help them to mitigate that risk to a low, and we 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 enable the businesses to uh, execute the most effective way. Yeah. And you mentioned that a lot of companies are and countries are spending a lot of money on their cybersecurity. For a small business, that might seem, um, you, you know, it's just not possible because they've got so much stuff to pay for, uh, particularly these days in this country with the cost of living. It's another expense, really, that they maybe can't afford. Yeah, the, one of the challenges in cybersecurity that usually the firms, especially in uh, energy industry or banking, they cannot invest in uh, cybersecurity because it's not the core business. It's not mm. bringing more money. So they need third party who can do that for them. And that's where we come in. Our yeah. teams are specialized in that. They have the best certificate and they are a graduate from Harvard and Carnegie Mellon, uh, from Oxford. Our team, they know their things. And they can enable your businesses without having your own team. We can actually uh, give you that services, even if you, if you don't if you don't have the budget to uh, have cybersecurity team. Hmm. And what kind of cybersecurity training do you offer? So we have our partners we, uh, with us, and they are top notch. They are the, our partners. They are the one who's uh, uh, trained in the black hat, hack, hack the box. They are one of the best uh, uh, t- trainers in the, wo- in the world. Yeah. And we, uh, we offer uh, uh, cybersecurity architect mm. uh, training, uh, cybersecurity fundamental training, career path uh, training. Uh, career path is a hot topic because yeah. a lot of people in cybersecurity, they don't know where they are going. If mm. they are in uh, practitioners or forensic or red team or dentist, they don't know what's next for them. So what we do, we have a training for career path, explaining to them where you start and how to jump from career to uh, another. Some people they would say that uh, I'm, I'm, for example, a penetration tester, but I want to move to more strategic. I don't know how to do that. So we mm. give them a career uh, their options to move, and they have the knowledge and the skill, the ability to move from these. Uh, in cybersecurity architect, we explain to the uh, practitioners or the specialists how to secure your uh, business through the design. And when it comes to technical uh, things, you can just have third party uh, that's held you. So uh, our training is actually enable the business uh, to, to, do the, uh, to do their business in the most effective way. So our training is fundamental. Cybersecurity, uh, cybersecurity architect, uh, career path uh, in cybersecurity, um, and uh, GRC, governance risk compliance. And we have more uh, technical, like uh, verbal uh, team uh, em- uh, hacking em- uh, em- emulation. Uh, so actually, we have, a, we have a huge list of training. <laughs> yeah. And are there any kind of common mistakes that you see businesses make when it comes to cybersecurity? Uh, so cybersecurity is not uh, uh, the most challenging thing, and um, uh, when when the management they think uh, cybersecurity is like single button that you click and everything will happen. Yeah. No, it's actually continuous progress, and you have to build a team or you have to arrange with a third party that's secure. It's a it's a continuous process, yeah. uh, and um, uh, if you if you manage to uh, to mitigate the risk with the new technologies and new opportunities. You have to continue doing that because people are doing, uh, people are progressing, and you have to keep up with them. So you need to catch up with the best technology. And in order to do that, you need cybersecurity to 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 emphasize your opportunity and lower your risk. Yeah. So what's your vision for the future of Wes Consultancy, and how do you explain? Uh, how do you plan to expand and grow your services? So our vision is to contribute to uh, to the to the region. We want to help our client. Uh, again, we have our values that we want to be uh, convenient with our. Uh, we want to feel our client to be uh, to feel convenient. Uh, they they we want them to progress in their uh, companies. We want to even uh, help them secure their structure. Um, so now our company uh, doing very well, and we are hoping to. To moving forward in 2013, where we contribute to the to the to the uh, GCC countries' uh, visions. 
Yeah. Well, in the meantime, where are we able to keep up to date with Wiz Consultancy? Find all your services um, and also your website and LinkedIn account and everything that you'd want us to find. Uh, yeah, so you can find us on our website, www.wizbh.com. Yeah. Uh, it's W H I Z Z B uh, as a boy uh, H dot com. That's our website, and you can find our LinkedIn uh, LinkedIn page and Instagram page. Uh, you can send us an email and uh, info uh, i n f o at W H I Z Z B H dot com. That's our uh, official email, and you can drop us an email, and we will help you. We set up a meeting with you, and we see the best opportunity for you. Excellent. Well, many thanks for talking to us today. It's been great and very helpful to have you on. Thank you very much, Toby. You are very, you, are, you make your guests very comfortable. And thank you very much for this opportunity.